Did you know that in the world of urban planning there exists a system so superior in its approach towards eco-sustainability and the reduction of air pollutants that nothing even stands a chance against it? Well, if you didn't, that's exactly what I'm here to talk to you about, ladies and gentlemen. So, let me show you. This right here is what we call a super block. Now, super blocks are 3x3 three three neighborhoods designed with the purpose of reducing pollution and also creating a more communal living space. If you don't believe me about the pollution stats, by the way, here's a bunch of data and stuff that no one cares about. Now, the concept of super blocks originated and is currently being experimented with the most in Barcelona, Spain. In 1952, architect Odiol Bojigas suggested joining a series of nine blocks together, and later, under the ecosystem urbanism model, this would become the Superblock project. Barcelona established this first superblock in 1993 near the. Basilica de Santa Maria del Mar in the Elborn neighborhood and has since then planned at least two more in 2005 for the district of Gracia, also in Spain, of course. Now to better understand superblocks, let's look at how they actually function and why they would actually make a difference. Now the basic main appeal of a superblock is their interior pacified roads. These roads provide a local network primarily to active transport, meaning walking and cycling, and secondary to traffic from residents of the area trying to move from one place to another. To pair this, the system also includes outer roads in which the limits would be a little bit higher compared to these interior roads which have a max speed of 20 km per hour. These outer roads would be maxed at 50 km per hour and would make it so that people going through, passing through, going somewhere else can have a faster way of traffic. Let's look at an example to see how this actually works. Now, imagine I was going from here to here. If I wanted to do it the normal way, I could just cross right through, right? It would be the fastest way, the most effective way. In a super block model, however, this would just simply not be possible because through traffic is essentially completely blocked. Therefore, my only option would be to go through the outer roads, which are a little bit faster than the, in than the inner roads, and just boom, go all the way around. This is done, of course, mostly to desensit this in oh, okay, can't say it. This incentivize the use of cars and the actual travel through motorized vehicles and gives normal people more walking space in those certain areas. It also provides a great way for public transport to be installed and it is generally a good way to foster public transportation. Overall, superblocks are a great system that if implemented correctly can have great not only environmental but also quality of living improvements. And anyways, yeah, that has been it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this random quickie, leave a like down below and goodbye, I guess. Peace. Goodbye.